With a new decade rolling in, we can finally reflect on the greatest moments of our lives. Gaming lives, that is. Name's Dave with Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 20 defining gaming moments of the last decade. A top 10 couldn't give justice to all of the outstanding moments of the last decade, so we had to extend it. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the most exciting, surprising, and all-around memorable moments from 2010 to 2019 that made these video game moments truly iconic. Since there's so many iconic moments though, only one entry per franchise will be allowed. Oh, and of course, spoilers ahead. <laughs> Number 20, Revelation of Project Zero Dawn, Horizon Zero Dawn. Horizon was probably the most fun you could have with a bow and arrow this last decade, but it also had a very complex backstory as well. Prior to the scene, we had seen old logs and recordings about how Project Zero Dawn was supposedly a devastating superweapon used as a last-ditch effort to wipe out an army of killer robots. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a superweapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. In actuality, Aloy learns that it was a desperate government project to ensure a life on Earth can start again after it's inevitably wiped out by the Pharaoh Plague Machines. What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. This tragic story of the last humans preparing for a new world they were never to see, it changed everything we thought about the game. And it's a lot to take in as well. What would you do with this news? Jeez. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Number 19, The Home Stretch, Celeste. Celeste revolves around the epic journey of climbing the titular mountain and confronting the physical manifestation of Madeline's inner demons while battling her panic attacks and depression. It was a tumultuous journey that nearly cost the unprepared woman her life and made her accept who she is. So, when she finally starts working with her darker side, the final ascent up the mountain had to be memorable. Checkpoint flags begin appearing in descending order, counting down and providing landmarks for your final ascent. As you get to the top, the music begins to fade out as you reach the summit, creating a tangible sense of anticipation that keeps you on the edge of your seat before you take your final leap. Number 18, shooting a portal at the moon, Portal 2. Portal 2 has you utilizing all sorts of strange and unique environments, but the last fight in the game truly breaks the boundaries of your imagination. At the climax of the final battle against Wheatley, the laboratory is crumbling due to its stupidity, and a full moon appears through the wreckage. Oh, brilliant, yeah, take one more look at your precious human moon, because it cannot help you now. The chance to shoot a portal to the moon and subsequently witness the lunar lander while holding on for dear life? Man, what a jaw-dropping moment this was. Bye, Wheatley. I can still fix this! I already fixed it. And you are not coming back. Oh no, change your plans. Hold on to me. Tighter! Ah! Grab me, grab me, grab me, grab me! Number 17, Death of 2B, near Automata. Nier Automata is not structured like your conventional game, requiring the player to get attached to the lead characters 2B and 9S by playing the initial campaign twice through both their perspectives. Alert. Virus infection detected. That's what makes this moment even more shocking. While killing the game's protagonist has been done many times before, the fact that this happened early within the game's third act caught us completely off guard. These are... my memories. 
take care of everyone for me. <laughs> After 2B dies, she tasks A2 with continuing on, but the mercy kill is misinterpreted by an infuriated 9S. To kill off a lovable main character two thirds of the way into the game? Talk about taking a major risk. Death confirmed. Number 16, Bayonetta meets the Masked Lumen, Bayonetta 2. When we talk about the most epic fights in video games, how can we not mention Bayonetta? When she first meets the Masked Lumen, well, it starts off in a normal fight on ground level. Oh, but then things wrap up into a chaotic slugfest with their gigantic kaijus fighting it over a bed of lava in the background. Then it gets even more epic. As their angels and demons start fighting over an entire city landscape with the players fighting alongside them. And let me just remind you, this is how the two first meet. Holy hell, this sequence is incredible. And it's the perfect embodiment of... <sighs> Boy, that escalated quickly. Understatement of the decade. God, the sequence was amazing. Number 15, you're gonna have a bad time, Undertale. <laughs> On the subject of epic fights, Undertale provided yet another memorable encounter, but only in the genocide run. The Sans fight was notoriously difficult, but also the definition of hype? <laughs> when the battle starts and Megalovania drops in the background, with the subtext, you feel like you're gonna have a bad time, players know things are gonna get hectic. Sans and the incredible battle theme Megalovania are probably the two most well-known aspects of Undertale, and this scene combines both into one epic boss fight. Not to mention one of the hardest of the decade too. Holy crap. Number 14, The Sink Baby, PT. <laughs> this game revolutionized the horror genre despite only being a teaser for a canceled game. It provided one of the scariest experiences in gaming in the last decade, in part because the repetition made it so unsettling. <laughs> This feeling culminated with the sink baby scene, who's there as a deformed fetus squirming in a bathroom sink amidst bloodstains. Ugh. Its cries were haunting and it helped set the tone for the rest of the game, which was basically, what the hell is happening? I'm scared out of my mind. <laughs> of course, it gets even more unsettling the more you come across this thing. You got fired, so you drowned your sorrows in booze. She had to get a part-time job working a grocery store cash register. Number 13, Lee's final choice, Telltale's The Walking Dead. You're strong, Clem. You, you can do anything. But I'm little. That means nothing. The Walking Dead was one of the most engaging story-driven games of the last decade because every decision was your decision. Close your eyes and be thankful you never have to see me as one of them. Lee and Clementine formed a strong bond during their time together, which made the final choice of season one all the more difficult. With Lee bitten, his fate is sealed and now has to give the young Clem one last step of guidance. Do you make Clementine shoot her father figure to put him out of his misery? Or do you leave the man you love to turn him into what you hate? Maybe I shouldn't let you turn. I don't want you to have to do that. <sighs> No matter what players picked, there was hardly a dry eye after this ending. 
God damn it, Lee. Number 12, Retrieving the Blades of Chaos, God of War. Atreus. The whole game up to this point had been about Kratos trying to start over a new life with his son Atreus in the Nordic realm. But when Atreus falls ill, Kratos must travel to the Nordic afterlife, Helheim, to save him. Yet this path is met with a grim reality. Your frost axe will be useless. You'll need to find something else. Then I must return home. Dig up a past I swore would stay buried. As you somberly travel under the blood red sky, Kratos' contemplation of his past culminates in the appearance of the ghost of Athena, all leading up to the reveal of the franchise's classic weapons. You will always be a monster. I know. But I am your monster no longer. Oh, the blades were awesome, and they also marked a major change in the combat system too, as Kratos now had access to the moves he had in the classic God of War trilogy. And it was awesome! The PlayStation trophy tile says it all. My ass, those blades will sound quite well in Hellheim. Number 11, The Suicide Mission, Mass Effect 2. Mass Effect 2's final mission remains one of the greatest climaxes in all of gaming. I don't know what we're gonna find in there, but I won't lie to you. It's not gonna be easy. We've lost good people. We may lose more. Everything depends entirely on your preparation alone, and the complexity of the choices remain astounding. If you haven't prepped the Normandy correctly, or send a crew member to do a task they're not cut out for, someone can die. If you lose everyone, you'll die too. It serves as the ultimate final task and the perfect closure to this incredible space opera. If only the rest of the series could follow suit. Detonation in 10, 9, 8. Yeah, I get the gist of it, Eve. Hold on. Number 10, The Arrival of Mr. X, Resident Evil 2 Remake. Those who played the original Resident Evil 2 might remember the recurring boss battle with this behemoth, but the remake made him something even more terrifying. Now he would not stop stalking the player around the police station, and making the slightest noise would draw him to your location. The pounding of his heavy footsteps as he stomps towards you, or him suddenly bursting through a door is absolutely heart-stopping, and the last thing you want is to be trapped in a corner. Jesus Christ! The T-103 Tyrant, also known as Mr. X, stole the show in the remake and made this game terrifying all over again. Number 9, The Bathtub, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Of all the ways we could have started this long-awaited third journey, we certainly weren't expecting this. Introducing Geralt lounging naked in the bathtub. This seemingly innocuous scene sent Franz into a frenzy and even became a popular meme online. Even the live show on Netflix referenced this meme. There isn't much to say about this scene, but there is a lot to look at, in a way. It may not be the most eventful moment, but it's certainly one of the most memorable and leaves you with an image you will not get out of your mind for a long time to come. You know I don't find that amusing. Number eight, John Marston's Last Stand, Red Dead Redemption. Whatever happens, keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. You know, Red Dead Redemption 2 was also filled with memorable moments, including showing Arthur his vulnerable side and coming to grips with his tuberculosis diagnosis. The most defining moment of the series, however, comes at the end of the original Redemption. I love you. I love you. 
Now go! Get! Trapped inside the barn by Edgar Ross and his cronies, after helping them throughout the entire game, players are faced with a last stand situation, with no chance of survival. Deadeye activates and, well, this happens. After this moment of devastating shock, however, comes the ultimate form of vengeance from John's son, Jack. Number 7. Ezio meets Altair and Desmond. Assassin's Creed Revelations. No books. No wisdom. Just you, fratello mio. While Revelations might not be the strongest Assassin's Creed title, it does house some of the franchise's incredible moments. Since Altair, Ezio, and Desmond all lived in different time periods, the chances of them crossing paths were thought impossible. But Ezio defied all this by finding his ancestor Altair's corpse in his own desolate library, and gets the opportunity to witness his final moments through a precursor artifact, a memory shard. Desmond? He's talking to me? I heard your name once before, Desmond. A long time ago. Shortly after, he manages to speak to his descendant, Desmond Miles, bypassing hundreds of years of separation. This ending was surprising, groundbreaking, and mind-blowing. Who are we who have been so blessed to share our stories like this? To speak across centuries? Imagine meeting your descendants hundreds of years from now, and even knowing what they look like and what their names are. What would you tell them? Now, listen. Number 6. The Marshmallow Concert. Fortnite. Love it or hate it, Fortnite has completely redefined video game culture. While it didn't create the Battle Royale genre, its overwhelming impact on mainstream pop culture was influential that it was able to create news headlining events, and it all started by having a Marshmallow concert, live and in-game. It felt like playing the future. It completely changed the way that pop culture can influence games and brought about an era of in-game events from various IPs. including a Thanos experience, and later, a Star Wars one. Number 5. New Donk City Celebration – Super Mario Odyssey Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the history of our city. And that started there. The fact that Mario has continued to be a pop culture mainstay for four decades now speaks volumes about his legacy, and this celebration in New Donk City serves as an incredible tribute to his name. It's a blast through the past as you take control of Retro Mario and run through various 2D side-scrolling levels while a concert plays in the background. Mario even gets a chance to relive his origin stories as Jumpman, as he leaps over barrels and comes face to face with a surprise cameo appearance from Donkey Kong. And all to the sound of one of the catchiest songs to come out of gaming this last decade. Number 4. You Died. Dark Souls series. Dark Souls had an immense impact on future games, as its challenging combat system was implemented into many franchises to come, not only with From Software, but from other games outside their wheelhouse. One of the most iconic lines, however, happened to be when you were killed. The 
blatant you died screen infuriated and humoured players so much so that it became a massive meme as well, finding its way into pop culture. Yet it showed us all that immense satisfaction can come from challenge, so no matter how many times you saw these seven letters, you were just as eager to try again. Number three, buy the book, Grand Theft Auto V. Now our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. You can't talk about a decade of gaming without mentioning Grand Theft Auto. And you can't talk about Grand Theft Auto without mentioning the controversy it causes with every major release. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Determined to find the infamous Mr. K, your job is to get the suspect to talk by any means necessary. Not only can you choose which torture device to use, but you also have to monitor his heart rate to make sure you don't accidentally kill him while torturing him. It's not for the faint of heart, but it continues to show that Rockstar is eager to push the boundaries further than other developers out there. Tortures for the torturer, or the guy giving the order to the torturer, you torture for the good times! Number two, swear to me, The Last of Us. Yeah, that's it. I'm coming, Ellie. There is a very good reason why so many gamers continue to talk about The Last of Us, and this scene was just one of many examples. Having seen Joel and Ellie's relationship flourish over the course of the game, Joel has a moral dilemma. Save Ellie or sacrifice her at the slim chance of a world-saving vaccine. What are you doing in here? I won't let you take her. This is our future. Think of all the lives we'll save. Joel instead chooses Ellie and proceeds to kill the Fireflies, only to be confronted by Ellie afterwards. They've actually... They've stopped looking for a cure. Asking Joel as to whether or not he's telling the truth was extremely hard to watch, and his answer was even more so. And to this day, everyone continues to debate about whether or not Joel did the right thing. I guess we'll know in the sequel. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the Fireflies is true. I swear. Before we hit the top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Bullshit. A language. language. Crap. Better. I've waited so long to do that. It was my job to take care of you. We were supposed to take care of each other. And we did. I had nearly given up hope and resigned myself to being trapped here as a spirit for the rest of eternity. But now you're here. All this time my hope was to see you once more. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Every moment we've seen on this list so far has been part of the embodiment of their franchise. Moments that define how these games are perceived and what we remember most about them. So for choosing number one, we can just choose a memorable moment from a popular franchise because there's so many franchises that are popular. Who's to say the most popular deserves to be the most defining moment? Because any game on this list can claim that. No, instead we had to look deeper. We had to look at the moment that wasn't just defining, but left an impact outside the world of gaming. And there was just one scene throughout all of gaming last decade that did just that. <laughs> Number one, White Phosphorus, Spec Ops, The Line. You know what this shit does? You know we, we can't might not have a choice, Lugo. There's always a choice. No, there's really not. It was one of the most surprising and brutal scenes in gaming ever. There are plenty of war games, but none that make you face the gravity of your decisions like this. 
both devastating and jaw-dropping, players are forced to walk through the disfigured bodies of soldiers they had just bombed with white phosphorus. Oh, and on a civilian camp too, which they bombed themselves, not knowing it was there. Why? You brought this on yourself. We were helping. Not only did this leave gamers with a haunting scene they will never forget, but it also made them aware of the devastating consequences of this not so well known real life weapon. One that surprisingly is not banned. Did you know that? If you weren't talking about white phosphorus after playing this, you weren't paying attention. Seriously, I cannot get over that scene. In the mood for more awesome gaming content, be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.